China Evergrande, interest payment deadline has arrived. Default avoidance is unclear on the 6th, China Evergrande Group, a major Chinese real estate developer in a financial crisis, has reached the deadline for paying interest on unpaid dollar-denominated corporate bonds. If interest payments cannot be made during the same day of Eastern Time, until 2 p.m. Japan Time, it will default, default. The company says it can't guarantee funding, and it's unclear if the default can be avoided. Evergrande has paid interest three times. Just before the 30-day grace period expires, barely avoiding defaults. This time, it is necessary to pay the unpaid interest of $82.5 million, about 9.3 billion yen, of corporate bonds issued by the subsidiary. Reuters reported that there were no interest payments to some creditors by this evening during Asian time. Evergrande announced on the 3rd that it had received a separate notice requesting the fulfillment of its $260 million debt guarantee obligation. After warning that, we cannot guarantee the securing of funds necessary for debt fulfillment, he announced that he would enter into negotiations with creditors for debt restructuring. In response to this, the local Guangdong provincial government has dispatched a supervisory team to the company, saying that it will strengthen its involvement in risk management and strengthening internal control. The People's Bank of China, Central Bank, emphasized that the spread to the financial industry is limited, saying that it will not affect the market function in the medium to long term. Evergrande announced on the 6th that it will set up an in-house committee for crisis management. The members include executives of state-owned enterprises, which is expected to reflect the intentions of the authorities. Evergrande has been rushing to raise funds by selling all the shares held by the internet service company under its umbrella since last month, and the founder Xu Jiayin also selling his own shares.